Hey everybody, Chris here. In this video, we're looking at the four-year cycles for Bitcoin. Crypto has generally followed that. And will Dogecoin now follow four-year cycles going forward? Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. You can be notified when my new videos come out as well as when I do live streams. We have been talking about the four-year cycles generally during live streams, but this video is going to be a little bit deeper dive and look at some of the ramifications of that and where things may trade going forward. This chart right here is a logarithmic scale of the trading of Bitcoin since 2012. And what we have seen is Bitcoin has had a run, let's say in 2013 here, up to an all-time high, and then retraced down to a low, and this low happened in 2015 at the end of 2014 but or, or beginning of 20 right in that time frame then had reset run new all-time high retrace purple marks low then there's a reset year bull run all-time high retrace or bear market what we've been through and then we had another low and that low was that 15,500 low we saw back in November of 2022. Now we're in this reset year again, this reset year. And what is this going to do going forward? If history repeats itself, we're going to have another bull run. And that's what a lot of us have been talking about, what we're excited about, and why we're continuing to accumulate cryptocurrencies at this point in time. Let's take another look at this for your cycles. This is from Rob at Digital Asset News. Same thing, 2013, run up to an all-time high, then a bear market or a dip year, followed by a reset year, which has some ups and downs. Then there's the Bitcoin halving. The Bitcoin halving happens every four years, followed by a bull run. We then have a bear market followed by a reset year. The reset year has some ups and downs. Then we have the Bitcoin halving happening, last one in 2020. What happened after that? We went to a bull market, all time high in 2021. Then bear market 2022 was bad. That was that dip down to that low. And now we're in this reset year again. If history repeats itself, 2024 will have a halving followed by a bull run. That's what the generally the four-year cycle is. And we've shown these other charts that Rob has showing, you know, the sort of the details of the trading of Bitcoin and how that has happened and what could that mean. 2023 reset year and then looking forward to 2024, what happens in the halving year followed by 2025 will we see some huge bull run again that's what this is about so uh so looking at again the bitcoin chart if we flip over to the doge chart it just doesn't really show us much because of because of these four year cycles and dogecoin was generally before 2020 was just flat I mean, Dogecoin generally just traded very flat for all of these years here. And this chart that I've got here doesn't even show those previous years. But that's what happened with, with Doge until we had uh, end of 2020 and then into 2021, the meteoric rise up uh, first to eight cents, retest back down to three cents or so, and then the huge run up to 74 cents. So since then, it has been bearish. We've been in this sideways pattern. I mean, you look back in uh, June of 2022, Dogecoin hit 4.9 cents. So that was the bottom. That was the low for Doge. Now we're at 6.3 cents or higher than that. We haven't dipped back down to that 4.9 uh, level there. So so that's good for Doge to, 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 to not retest uh, 
you know, that real low. There's a lot of charting that I've done over time for all of this. But so here we are with Dogecoin. Now, as Dogecoin has traded going forward, um, let's go to the uh, to the daily chart here and let's look at uh, the Doge and Bitcoin trading pair and let's change to a non logarithmic scale. And what we see is Doge is right now at 0.000024, that 24. But look where Dogecoin was in its trading pair with Bitcoin back in, you know, that, that big rise uh, earlier. Well, this was 2022, late when actually um, Doge took off and Bitcoin was going the other way. We had this run up, up, up to 0007, this red line here. And I've been tracking with different colors, the trading relationship between Doge and Bitcoin. And as we enter 2023, and you know, Bitcoin had a better run than Dogecoin in the early part, but it's really leveled out here. What this tends to mean to me is that when we see this next bull run happening, Bitcoin will do its thing but Dogecoin has the potential to really take off based on some big news. We've seen that before. Elon buying Twitter, right? Huge run for Dogecoin. Not so much for Bitcoin for something like that. That type of thing could happen again. This little blip here in April, that's when that's when Elon put the little Doge logo on the X app, uh, Twitter X app there. That kind of run could happen with Dogecoin. Could it be the Doge One project could, in November? We could see something something happening here in November if that indeed happens, where where uh, where Doge goes on a run. Could it be integration of Doge onto the X app? I think that is a 2024 event, probably not in 2023. Longer term, looking forward. So. If Dogecoin does follow those four-year cycles, though, like Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is going, going to go on another run, and Bitcoin goes up to 100K, let's say, that's a 4X from here. Well, a 4X for Dogecoin from here, from you know, 6 cents, 6.3 cents, goes to 25 cents. Does 25 cents sound like something that you think is, is, is it would be the ceiling for for a Dogecoin run right there at 25 cents, that would be a 4x from here. Well, Dogecoin has been much higher in its past. 35 cents was a resistance point here in August of 2021. And of course, we had the big run up to 74 cents here in May of 2021. So that's what we're waiting to see. We don't know how big of an event this is going to be for Doge and what kind of support it's going to have the crazy trading, more new people coming into crypto. With Dogecoin, a lot of us, Dogecoin was the first cryptocurrency we bought because of a lot of this hype we saw back in 2020, 2021, uh, when that was. More new crypto uh, owners are slowly coming in, but it's been a very bearish market <laughs> since mid 2021. It has been down. We've had a few exciting times, but for the most part, it's been relatively flat. And so not a lot of excitement. When that excitement begins again, and we see this huge trading volume come in again. That's when the hype for Dogecoin will resurface and Doge will go on a run, probably higher than 25 cents. But I don't think it's going to happen this year Although we don't know with SpaceX and the Doge One mission, how that gets hyped, how that ends up being, that could be exciting as well. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this four-year cycle thing? And is this real? Is this something that will continue going forward uh, in 2024, Bitcoin halving year, and then the 2025 run up to a new all-time high for Bitcoin? And does Doge follow that? Or does Doge go on its own? Let me know. Give the video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.